my taxes, which pays for their entitlements. I have to marry them, and then I have to pay for the divorce, and then continue to pay for them after the divorce. Right? Pay, pay, pay. It's unnatural. And all things that are unnatural, that are synthetic or artificial, they cannot stand. They can't stand. And that's what's happening with feminism. That's why there's MGTOW. Because the natural order is going to fight against the synthetic order. Men are going to rebel against feminism. Against what has been done to us. Not centuries ago, not generations ago, but what is happening in my life now. You know, these feminists are ridiculous. I have no problem being a man and standing up, right? Because I know what my place is in the universe, right? I'm willing to accept it. I'm a man. I'm MGTOW. MGTOW is freedom. I have the penis, right? These glasses right here. I hope you guys enjoy what I come up with. And I'll probably have to, uh, according to my lawyer, say something like, uh, you know I'm recording you when I talk to him or say, would you have any objection to me recording what you're saying? And they'll probably look at my phone and think that I have to pull the phone out to record them. And when they say yes, nod their head, or give approval in some tacit manner, right? Then I catch him. I just need to remember to put him in the truck and take him with me when I go to work and do my travel abouts. Probably ought not to wear them at work. That could probably get me in some trouble. Right, I make uh, a fair wage and I don't want to lose it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys again. Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for seeing within yourself that you're a man and that you're, you're meant for more than being a woman's bitch, a woman's play toy, a woman's uh, uh, bankroller. You know, I want to congratulate you for feeling in your heart and in your intellect that you weren't meant to be a woman's toy or thing or trick pony. You know, we've all gotten there. And if you're MGTOW or you're looking at MGTOW, you have resisted 200 years of stealth indoctrination, stealth manipulation. You've endured the, the most, the best, the cruelest tricks that women can throw at you. The craftiest, sneakiest, slimiest animal on the planet are women who seek to use you and you've, you've sniffed them out. You've recognized what they're doing. You've sensed that it is wrong and you're rebelling against it. That's what a man does. Right? I get up every day and I want you guys to do this too. You look in the mirror and you go, I have the penis. I'm the man. Right? And you live from this moment forward, this moment forward, the rest of the way. Doesn't matter what happened to our ancestors. Doesn't matter how many people my Viking ancestors killed in Europe. How many European women they stole and brought back to Iceland or up into Scandinavia. Right? That wasn't me, that was them. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter that... Uh, hundreds of years ago, right, women were put down. None of that matters. What matters is my life today. Matters are the decisions I make and my attitude. I can come on here and sound bitter. I can come on here and sound happy. I can be pissed off, right? I can be a mixture of any of those things. I can let out whatever emotion I want. Why? How? Because I'm a man, right? I think, therefore, I am, right? I am Hominus Emeritus Mygtonius, right? professor of being a man. All men are that. All men can be that. 
right? But not until you recognize what's being done to you. Not until you realize that as free as you think you are, we've all actually been turned into slaves to women. And that all it takes to get free is to recognize what has been done to you and take the steps to remove it. It doesn't require going to court to be MGTOW. It's a decision up here. It's a decision in your mind. And then simple actions. Right? We're more than just words as men. We're more than just thoughts. Right? We're not just the sum of our actions previous, right? We're going to be, or we are the sum. Our souls are the sum of our entire lives. And that includes the part of our life that we have yet to live. And as MGTOW, you get to live that life however you see fit. You can live any way you wish. You can live honorably. Honor, right? Honor, pride, those are gifts that men give themselves. When I see these poor blue pill sons of bitches, and the simps and the white knights and the manginas, they have no honor, right? They, they degrade themselves, they put themselves down, they emasculate themselves, and they whore themselves to women. That is, they prostitute themselves before women. They sell themselves to women just so they can rub. They can rub their genitals on a woman's genitals. You know, that's it's no way for a man to go. Right? We are the sums of more than just what we look like. You know, we are ourselves. We're men. We're individuals. We're expressing our life through our physical body and through our intellect. Women don't have that. You know, I did that video on mansplaining. I loved doing that video. When I first did it, I wasn't thinking about how I loved having things mansplained to me by my stepdad and my dad, by my uncle, by my friends, or their friends, by other men who are adults. They trained me and they taught me, not to the best of their ability, probably not thinking that there was more to teach or that they should, but I liked that, you know. That told me where I was, right? It helped me learn. We all learn. And we all grow, and we all become better men for it. And you don't have to go down to the pits where I was, you know, married and, and fighting with the devil all the time. You know, but, but we all learn from where we came from and where, from where we're going. And you young guys out there, you got a chance to live your life, more of your life, honorably, as the man you want to be than I did. You know, my sons have that option. All men have that option. And now there's a way to know about it, right? Mygtocrates, that great Greek philosopher. <laughs> that fictional Greek philosopher I've created, Mygtocrates. You know, there's no greater gift a man can give than the one he gives to himself. And that is ownership and love of oneself. Not in a negative way, but in a way that is respectful. Respectful of himself. You know, a lot of times I complain that men are not respectful anymore. Well, they're playing a woman's game, right? They're playing these women's games, this gynocentric game, where respect is no longer, no longer sought. Right. They're trying to buy a woman's love, and they're being used that way. Respect, honor, it's important. You know, self-respect, pride, it's important. Intellect, 
you know, that is what men are about. And anything worth living for is worth fighting for. So to all MGTOW, what the fuck? It was a rabbit. Just ran through my yard around and past. How the hell does that happen? What is this, a fucking Disney movie? <laughs> totally interrupted my train of thought. It's probably a radio controlled bunny sent by some femicut. You know, honor, respect, right? duty. Go MGTOW. MGTOW is freedom. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell if you haven't done that. Send this video to other men. You know, friends, family, loved ones, old, young, married, single, divorced, it doesn't matter. Help men realize there's a way out of this. And if you feel inclined, go to patreon.com and you can sign up and sponsor me a buck a month or something like that. If you feel inclined. Regardless, you know, it's a voluntary thing. Regardless, I'm going to continue to do these videos until YouTube kicks me the fuck off here. There's no reason they ought to. <laughs> I'd like to see them engage in the arena of ideas. I'd like to see them do that. Anyways, for the time being, you guys rock. You kick ass. I have the penis, right? I go out and I make it happen. You have the penis. You're the man. Semper Fi. <laughs>